The very first Airbus jet, the A300, only existed because Boeing rejected the exact same idea years earlier. Back in the 1960s, Boeing studied a twin-engine widebody. But executives decided the world was not ready. They believed airlines wanted four-engine giants like the 747, not smaller, fuel-efficient twins. Airbus took the gamble instead. In 1972, they launched the A300, the world's first twin-engine wide-body jet. It carried 270 passengers, flew medium-haul routes, and proved airlines did want efficiency over raw size. The bet worked. The A300 laid the foundation for Airbus itself, proving a European consortium could challenge America's dominance. And decades later, almost every modern wide-body, Boeing or Airbus, follows the same twin-engine formula Boeing once dismissed. It's a reminder that sometimes the biggest risk is refusing to take one. Boeing's rejection created Airbus's opening and the A300 became the jet that launched a rivalry still shaping aviation today. So here's the question. Was Boeing smart to play it safe or did Airbus win by taking the risk Boeing would not?